The 2015 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing is on here at the Hawaiian Pro. Tiago Perez, Granger Larson, Kevin Sullivan, and Dylan Goodale in the water. This heat has started. 20 early giant swells come through Hawaii, but now this is what we're looking at. This is the first wave of the 2015 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing, Pete. Uh, and there it is, yellow Kevin Sullivan from Maui residing in Lahaina, and then also Tiago Perez on a little bit bigger wave here. Again, you talk about, you know, Haleiwa and being, it is his high performance surfboard, which we'll see today. Well, here he is. This is Tiago Perez, the veteran. Nice little right-hander to start off with. So a couple turns to open up his triple crown. Tiago Perez, of course, I mean, this is a name we've been talking about for decades on the uh, WQS and, of course, the World Championship Tour. This guy has uh, so much knowledge and, you know, you can just, he, he's so solid on his board. Yeah, he really is. And you watch this replay here. And what's unique about what's happening today, uh, we've got a swell that is just starting to show up. It is going to increase through the day, but at least not when they're swell. And right now we have three competitors sitting. You can see right there, but there's actually one surfer sitting at the main peak. That's Kevin Sullivan all by himself. So a split between the two surfers there. I mean, I'm sure if we can get another shot, but there you go. That kind of shows what we're having here. Two different... <laughs> Expectations are uh, set when the bell rings. So here we go. This is Dylan Gedell, young surfer from Kauai. Started off with a floater. Looked like he kind of purposely pulled Diva. It just needs to be another two feet bigger. You can see on these bigger waves here, sometimes you're gonna see some laps. We will see some laps being ridden here in Haleiwa. And I mean, we have three surfers up and riding all at once. Uh, that was the right off that peak to the east, we will call it. You know, 10 to 12, 13 range, I would say, so far in judging what we have. This is Kevin Sullivan. Yeah, that was that peak I was talking about. He just dug a rail there. And you know, mistakes are gonna be compounded today because of the inconsistencies and with the swell and what Surfline has forecast, we don't have a ton to of offer here. I mean, we're looking at probably five to seven foot, eight foot max during the peak of this swell. Um, and we don't have much on offer. Petitions only allowed to run from eight to four o'clock. That's it. That's what the permit allows, strictly have that. There's much more light on either end, but here in Hawaii. And again, I think a big story we're gonna be kind of looking at is Dusty Payne last year. He was sitting in the 90s, still qualified for tour. Here goes Granger Larson. One of the better waves we've seen of the morning. Beautiful opening snap. Love the style. Granger wow. Larson always just spot on through his turns. Didn't push too hard. Just right for Granger Larson. And right behind him, Kevin Sullivan, your surfer in yellow. Opens it up with a nice snap. Trying to get around a tough section. This way of just flattening out a little bit as he makes it through the inside. So now Kevin Sullivan with a better wave under his belt. Right behind him, Dylan Goodale from Kauai. He's trying to generate some speed. Opts out as he sits in second place with Tiago Perez in the lead with a 5.67 and a 2.83. Pete, keep your eye on that 5.67. So we watch, this is a beautiful wave from Granger. Look how flowy he transitions between his turns here. Big snap, lots of spray. Judges love seeing that. Another quick snap and then the finish, boom right in the connection to the lip. I think we're going to see this go upwards uh, above that 5.67. That's now going to be the new benchmark for this heat. If you're ready to compete and the waves are kind of looking like this, you can have the tendency to maybe panic a little bit before you go out and just think, okay, I got to catch. Or of, well, I would say actually more as he's up riding again. Hold on. Nice. Tail sliding opening turn, utilizing pretty difficult section. But again, Granger Larson shift over a little bit. That's where to the left. Kevin is right here. Here goes the Prophet, Kevin Sullivan. Speeding off the bottom. Love this guy's style and waves of consequence. He can really lay it down on rail. That wave did not cooperate for what he wanted to do. Plenty of time, 13 minutes to go. Round one, heat one. This crucial event. It is the most critical and exciting surfing as we watch Granger Larson with his back up here. Smaller inside wave, but gets out without priority and does two nice turns. You know, a smaller wave, but it's gonna be a good score. It's gonna be rivaling those other five point rides. So with nine minutes, 10 seconds to go, this wave happened during the break for Tiago. Yeah, and Tiago Perez is uh, trying to add to that 5.67 here. This is at Northern Peak, Northeast Peak, and unfortunately an error. And again, it's gonna be compounded because if you don't get your opportunities, and you make those mistakes on those waves that you do get, uh, it is definitely compounded. So here we have uh, Kevin Sullivan, who has made a transition now over to that other peak, gets the nice little reverse rail grab to finish it, and this is live action. Live action, Dylan, Dylan Goodale. Nice looking wave, a couple little turns out the back, kind of more setting it up for that finisher, but 
pulls his last floater. And, uh, come I know. I watched Tiago. He split the peak here and gets this little backhand hit. But these waves, you talk about the lefts here, especially, which uh, we just saw Tiago again at the end of that wave, not completing that final move. And it will affect him as we watch now Dylan Goodale probably picking up his one of his better waves, too. Again, at the end, just that little error. And uh, somehow, actually, no, he pulled that one off. That's the one. So he's going to add to that 5.17. And this is the battle right now. This timed a little bit, and then he was kind of reacting through the rest of the wave, but finished, finished strong. Oh, Granger. I wonder if they're going to use that. So when you make a paddle like that and you commit, sometimes what will happen is, is they'll take your priority away, which they have. He is now. That's a mistake. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a big mistake, but what he did there is paddled hard for that wave. He ends up losing priority and goes to the bottom of the of the rain. Some of that priority went straight over to Surfer in Yellow. Sullivan, a couple nice turns out the back, but there's that tough section right there. He saw already caught waves immediately when he lost priority. That kind of bumped him right up into that priority spot. So he sits in second priority now. And here goes Dylan Goodale, Surfer in Blue from Kauai. Got a nice looking wave in front of him. There he goes. Oh. Straight up into the lip and straight down. Crucial mistake for Dylan Goodale, who's dropped into fourth place using priority. He goes down in his first turn. Here goes Granger Larson with priority. Nice opening snap, straight back up in the lip. Floats over Dylan Goodale. There it is. I mean, that was just kind of meat and potatoes surfing. We're getting a score coming in for Tiago. Actually, multiple scores. Things could change. We will see. Here goes Tiago Perez from Alcantara, Portugal. Nice layback jam up into the lip. Best turn of the morning so far. We're coming into that last section that you have all this time, and then all of a sudden it just shuts on down on you super quickly. So it's, it's really tough. You see there, he goes right up underneath it, does that big layback snap, pushes the fins through it, and the lip cascades goes over him, makes him disappear, and he comes out with a little bit of drama. Love seeing that. Um, but we have got a ton of updates on the scores. Granger Larson still in the lead. Tiago Perez, his last scoring wave comes in a 6-1-7. It's enough to get him into second place. Watch out, Dylan Goodale. His last scoring wave comes in at a 6.07. He is now in third place. His last wave now comes in at a 7.5. So that makes Dylan Goodale's ask a 7.6, which more. would be the best. Definitely uh, high scores available out there. Granger Larson. He is going to cap off his potential heat win with a big frontside air. Unstuck. Meanwhile, Tiago, the veteran, is keeping the pedal to the metal out there. He's not going to leave it up to chance. He knows Dylan Goodale capable of getting a big score. And uh, every heat will be adding to his point total here. And that's a big win for Granger Larson. All right. Well, that's it. Round one, heat one, the first heat of the day here at the Hawaiian Pro. Granger Larson and Tiago Perez will advance through. We're